Okay, so Spy. So Spy stars Melissa McCarthy, Jude Law, Rose Byrne, and of course Jason Statham. And Melissa McCarthy plays a, basically a assistant, a spy assistant. There's another word for it, but it escapes my mind at the moment. And she assists Jude Law's character, who she is also in love with, of course. And then we got this evil bitch named, by the name of Rose Byrne, of course, um, who wants to get this new on the black market and sell it, basically. So, she learns all the names of every spy in the organization, and Melissa McCarthy volunteers to go in undercover, since she, she's really the one that's not really known. And we have our movie. This movie is probably the best Melissa McCarthy movie made. I love Spy. Okay, I don't count Bridesmaids as a Melissa McCarthy movie since that's a team movie and it was Kristen Wiig's movie anyway because she actually wrote the movie. So, yeah. But man, this was a nice surprise. I did not expect to like this movie. I thought it was going to be another Melissa McCarthy movie where some of the stuff's going to work and some of the stuff doesn't. Unlike Tammy, which was a complete another bust, but this was actually a complete and other awesome ass movie, okay? And Melissa McCarthy does all her own stunts. For the most part, it looks like it. She does, so that's awesome. Except for one scene that you kind of know that's a stunt double for. It's it's blatantly obvious on that part, unless she, she does some type of acrobatics that I don't know about. <laughs> but so far, that's the only one I count that probably was not her. The standout of this movie is Jason Statham. Jason Statham is the fucking man in this movie, alright? Love that dude right there. Jason Statham can do comedy like nobody's business. I thought he was funny in the Italian job, but holy shit, he got, he does it here. Cannot get enough Jason Statham in this movie. You cannot. It's impossible. He, he, every time he comes in, he fucking tries to steal a show from her, and it's awesome. And I love it. And I also love the chemistry between... McCarthy and Statham, where they have some back and forth stuff. It's hilarious to look at, man. It is fucking hilarious. Jude Law is also fucking hilarious. He's always hilarious on his own, especially in the Sherlock Holmes movies, but for some reason, Paul Feig can make anybody look funny. Er. And he does that with Jude Law. Jude Law is amazing in this movie. So is Rose Byrne. Rose Byrne. You know Rose Byrne looks good. She knows she does, okay? And she gets away with it, too, but damn. She can do a simple straight face like it ain't nothing. Like it ain't nobody's business. She can just pull it off like. Like damn. I'm like, I can't even do it. Look, I'm about to fall asleep. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the action is well done. The fucking comedy is well done. Surprisingly, to the to the T, this is actually a nice little spy comedy. And I like the little James Bond intro. intro we got as well. It's only no more than 60 seconds long, which is shorter than all, than all 007's intros, but damn, I was surprised we got one. So, this actually kind of reminded me of James Bond a little bit. Hell, Jude Law could be a James... It's almost a, like a James Bond-ish character in this movie. Especially for the way he acts. It's like he's a, a cross between James Bond and the Roger Moore James Bond. A little over the top, but still awesome to look at. And he kicks ass. So, so is this fucking movie. And for that reason alone, I'm going to give Spy an A-. minus Because this movie is fucking awesome. To the fucking T. Minus a little bit more Statham. Which we should desperately need it. We really, really needed more Statham in this movie. So, as always, guys, let me know what you guys think about Spy down below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? What is your favorite Paul Feig McCarthy movie team up ever? Because right now, mine is Spy. Let me know down below. I'll catch you guys on the next one.